you guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I have these to show you. Hello, how are you doing? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't even start this vlog normally, but I got Lisa Frank Crocs. <laughs> I'm so, so, so beyond excited. Two of my favorite things in the world are Lisa Frank, which I grew up with, I was obsessed with, as most 90s kids were, and I am a true Crocs convert. I thought they were the ugliest things on planet Earth, did not understand why anyone would wear them, until I got a pair. <laughs> And now it is my 2022 mission to get as many people as possible hooked on Crocs and I wish they sponsored me. I will be the happiest person on earth if they ever do but this is not sponsored at all whatsoever and this Lisa Frank collaboration is like insane to get your hands on and I'm very fortunate that I can fit into kid size shoes because like a junior six is a women's eight, which is what I take in Crocs. So I was able to get my hands on a pair of kids Crocs and they fit perfectly. And they are the most magical things I've ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna take them off because of course I had to put them on immediately. I'm gonna take them off and show you guys them in all their glory. So I was super shocked that they came in a box. I'm so glad they did because it's such a great like collector's piece. Just says the fantastic world of Lisa Frank and Lisa Frank Crocs and I just love it. I love it so much. And so these are the kids versions. Um, the adults version are purple and probably have different like little they're not gibbets because they don't come out um they're just basically like glued on but um the adult ones were like impossible to get so these are the kids version and if they're still available i'll link them below um and i love how on like the side it says lisa frank with more of the like 3D appliques and they're both different like I love the smiley face flower that was one of my favorite things um and like the flying star I loved that when she had it on like her folders and notebooks and stuff so these are just the happiest things on planet earth and I really only wear my crocs at home but these make me so happy and I just feel like a kid slash TikTok star and I just love them so much. So those were like my best purchase this week. They came super fast. I would love the purple ones but I'm very happy with these. So I'm just living my best life in my Lisa Frank Crocs. <laughs> we are at the literal most organized TJ Maxx I've ever seen in my life. Like, nothing is opened and destroyed and touched. Everything's so beautiful. <laughs> I just can't find the perfume. I don't know where it is, so I'm getting a little confused. But I found a few things on clearance that I'm excited about. I just have to decide if I want to actually buy them or not. We're in fla fake plant heaven, you guys. We're getting this ginormous... Palm what is tree. this? Palm tree. Normally, this would be like $200. It is $70 at Burlington. So if you're looking for fake plants, like big ones, come to Burlington. Like, I'm gonna also get this fiddle leaf fig and it's only $30. That's like insane. All these are so affordable for some reason. And they look good, like, oh, this one's also really pretty. Oh, like literally $40 for a like birds of paradise oh my god and how much was this one 65 this one is really cool too <sighs> we could just buy all of them <laughs> Literally. i love that it's like taller than us oh my god need it as expected every time me and Alyssa go out our back seat is full to the brim i mean this time we got ginormous plants which i cannot get over 
the deals that Burlington had on faux plants. Like literally plants of this size, like fake plants anywhere you go are easily over $50. Like for the fiddle leaf fig that I got for 30, I think it was. And then the palm tree that we got, and I can't wait to put it where we have envisioned it and show you guys. That would be easily over $200, if not over 300. And it was $70. So if you're looking for really cool, like and large faux plants, check out Burlington. We just went there randomly and we couldn't even believe like the luck that we had. Nothing else really spoke to us, but the faux plants, that was where it's at. And they're like, um, art or whatever like their pictures and stuff like that they had a lot of cool ones we spent a lot of time looking through them and we each got i think one i got one i think maybe Alyssa got two but we'll show you everything when we get home i'm so so excited because i finally got a globe i've been wanting a globe for years and i found this one today at tj maxx and i love the colors it's like ivory and gold and then i need to bring it more in the light for you guys to see it but it has like the i don't know what type of measurement or whatever it is around the top and then i loved the base and it's pretty heavy and just really nice and this was i think like 20 yeah 20 dollars which i didn't think was bad and so i'm definitely going to put that on my bookshelf. I think I'm gonna build the other one this weekend. And then I found this vase that I just thought was so pretty and like like a sculpture basically. Um, and this was on clearance for like $13 and I love it. I'm just gonna leave it empty um, and take off the tag so it doesn't disrupt the flow, but I just loved how that looked and it fits in my um, bookcase perfectly. And then this is the fiddle leaf uh, faux plant that I got at Burlington. And this was, I think it was only like 25 or something like that. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, 30, which still isn't bad. Um, and then I put it in this basket that I got at Target a while ago because the base that it's in, it's kind of like not stable. So it was like tipping over. So this works, I think really, really nicely. And I put it on this side table. And then let's see what else. I got this painting or print or whatever that looks like a Chanel bottle and it says inhale confidence, exhale doubt. And I'm not sure where I'll put that, but um, me and Alyssa really like that quote. And then these two things, I don't know where to put them yet, but I got this like gold, planter um and i just love how it looks with like the ridges and stuff and this was only 12 dollars, and it came with like flowers in it too which i put in a different vase so <laughs> it was such a great deal and i just love how that looks and then i got this for 15 dollars. it reminded me of something from like the studio mcgee line and Alyssa found that for me so i picked this one up and just have to figure out where to put it but I am feeling really just like blah and so I'm getting into bed and I'm going to read more of the Paris apartment I made pretty good progress so far and I'm absolutely loving it it's very reminiscent of Lucy Foley's other book style and I just love how she writes it's very like keeps you on the edge of your seat so can't wait to keep reading this and I'll probably be able to finish it this weekend. It's Saturday morning now and I just finished getting ready. It's like 12.30 p.m. But I just had such a nice morning, like sleeping in and then showering and just slowly getting ready. It was fantastic. So I'm in my beauty room slash office and I wanted to show you guys a few other things I got last night. So um, I had these faux roses before in a different vase and these um, shorter brighter um, flowers were in that like gold um, planter that I showed you last night. Um, I still need to like 
figure out how best to arrange them but I mixed those together in this vase that I got at Goodwill for only $2.99 last night and I just loved how simple it was and it has like a little bit of a like kind of stud design as well so I have that there and I really really like how that looks in my office and it like brightens up the space a little bit and then my other <laughs> goodwill find this was I think $5.99 um this is like a knockoff of an Hermes I think Birkin. Um, I get so confused between the Kelly and the Birkin, but it's supposed to be like an Hermes bag. And I love this color. It's so rich. And I wish that it was like fall winter because this is going to be such a beautiful bag during that like season. I love that it had a top handle. It's in really great shape and it still has like a crossbody strap that never was even opened um and it has like little side pockets and a zipper and I just loved it I love how it looks and it even has like the um what do they call these like the clochette or whatever um feet on the bottom like this I feel like is a really nice purse no matter if it was supposed to be um a twenty thousand dollar bag or not um i just love it. it feels super super nice and i just love like top handle bags and this is a little bigger than i typically go for but i just loved it so much and it was only six dollars so um i had to have it and i absolutely absolutely love it and this is our palm tree i love it so much Alyssa fixed the um, leaves so they look a lot better. And I just love it here in our like landing at the top of the stairs. I think it was money well spent. <laughs> And earlier this week, one of my longtime friends, Ellie, sent me this bath mat all the way from the UK. I absolutely love it. And it's like she knew I regretted getting white <laughs> bath mats because um, I got these from Target. But you can see, like, it looks like blood, but that's from dye my hair red, like my um hair drips or like I think that's like a footprint from <laughs> having like the red come out of my hair every time I wash it um that's just what happens with red hair dye but I really regretted getting <laughs> those because they just looked so bad but she got me this and I love what it says it just makes me happy every time I see it and um I just move it out of the way when I shower and then I just use the white one and then I put this back on top and I absolutely love it so thank you so much Ellie that was so so sweet of you to think of me and so Send this to me it makes me so happy and since we're in the bathroom um I got two more of the candle uh things from Target and I emptied them out by uh putting the candle in the freezer not with the lid I just put the glass part um and then remove the wax and so then you can use the containers for whatever you want so i have my makeup removing rounds i have my cotton rounds my reusable ones and then my q-tips in here and they are just so so cute i absolutely love them and i will link these down below because they're at target right now and yeah i have two of the smaller ones and one big one and i just Love them every time I see them. I can't believe it, but I'm actually wearing shorts. Hi, Moki! Moki! Um, and we have the air conditioning on for the first time, but I really, really like my outfit today. I'm wearing one of the pieces I bought from Abercrombie during like Black Friday, and it's just like a, I don't know, oversized plaid shirt and then I'm wearing the Madewell shorts that I just think fit really well. They're super comfy. I love like the really big pockets in the front. It makes it very convenient. Milky, what outfit are you wearing today? <laughs> Disregard all my laundry and 
my uh, sheets all over. I'm doing my um, sheets today. And I did get a new purse for the summer. I'm so excited. This is, I think, a new style from Michael Kors. And it's nylon with um, leather accents. And I loved the chain, um, the gold chain, like, hanging in the front. And you can also use it as, like, a top handle or a shoulder bag with that. And then there's a detachable um, and adjustable crossbody strap. I just think it's super, super cute. I love this, like, corally red color for summer. And I just think that I'll get tons and tons of use out of it and it's reminiscent of the Prada nylon bags but like a tenth of the price and I got it on sale on Bloomingdale's I believe so love it it's just very very simple and I can't wait to use that but yeah so far I haven't done much today I'm waiting on another package to come today and then I'm gonna film a haul video um, but whew, it feels so good down here because upstairs it's pretty warm um, since we just got the AC running but yeah can't believe it's starting to finally warm up it feels amazing you guys I just filmed a whole video with my hair down in a long sleeve shirt I was sweating so much because it's actually like hot AF now and I totally forgot my room has a ceiling fan so I was sweating like ugh, I felt so gross um, and now I just realized I could have put on the fan this whole time but now I put on the fan and things will be better but um, yeah I just filmed a huge haul oh my gosh now I have to put everything away but yeah I'm so excited about everything I got, literally. I can't wait to do my makeup tomorrow, and I can't wait to show you guys how it turns out, because I feel like I'm just gonna play around and have the best time. For lunch today, we made this home chef meal, uh, the Mongolian-style beef with noodles and snow peas, and it was so good. It was super, super easy to make, because everything was pretty much like pre-prepared, pre and it even came with this little foil oven safe thing that we just put everything in so uh, we like I said we've been like switching up what food boxes we get but this one was definitely a tasty one that we would probably recreate ourselves someone's coming hi <laughs> we came downstairs because I'm gonna read for a little bit Moki's here I love having a dog a dog um, niece. <laughs> I'm Aunt Megan, by the way. So, of course she has to check everything out. Everything new. Right, Milk? You have to check everything out? She loves, like, all the stuff that's on the ground right now because it's all at her level that she can smell it and lick it. <laughs> She'll, like, smell stuff and then do one little lick. It's so funny. <laughs> We've had a great afternoon reading. And let's see, I'm a little less than halfway done. Oh my God, this book is so good, you guys. And now I'm going to unfortunately have to get up from my comfy spot and ruin Moki's comfy spot. <laughs> but me and Alyssa are gonna run some errands and pick up dinner. Um, but oh, today was and still will be a great great Saturday we've done so many nice relaxing things really our first relaxing weekend since we moved in so it's been awesome I'm trying to get up and this little one is just like falling where I <laughs> moving oh. let's go Moke we have to get up we have to be productive <laughs> literally I'm just going to Pick up some, um, like, what am I trying to say? Orders that I did for, like, Target pickup. And Ulta. I got my mama perfume that she wanted. Oh, my God, look at her. Mogi. I don't want to go either. But, um, and then we're gonna... I have returns I need to do as well, like, Amazon returns at Whole Foods. So, 
We're gonna have to go get out of our cozy bed. It's so sad. <laughs> Morning, you guys. It's Sunday. I don't know how it's Sunday already. I'm kind of sad, but um, it's only the beginning of the day. So um, I just finished getting ready. I showered. I didn't wash my hair yesterday and I, oh, I really scrubbed my hair today. I feel, felt so good. And then I was super excited to do my makeup because I used like a bunch of new products that I showed in my haul video that I filmed yesterday. So my eyeshadow is with the Wild Jaguar um, Huda Beauty palette and it is just so gorgeous. It's like a smoky, girl's dream like if you love smoky eyes whew, i don't think you can get much better than this it is so pretty and um just so easy to use i loved it and then i used um what else did i use new i use a lot of existing products that i already liked but merit sent me a bunch of products which was so cool and i used their signature lipstick in baby i love this color it's like an instant everyday favorite for me it reminds me a lot of mac blankety but an even better formula like it's just so smooth and balmy it feels so good and then for my cheeks, I used the Huda Beauty Glowish um, Medium Bronzer. And I mean, I think it looks okay. I am not a huge bronzer person, but I mean, I think it works for my skin tone for sure. And then my cheeks, I used the Merit Cheeky um, Little pod thing i don't know what to call these i first applied it like straight on my face but i felt i don't know i just never liked doing that so then i built it up just taking a brush onto the product and applying it and i love that glow that is just pure glow not like shimmer or anything i think it just looks so pretty and i wasn't going for a super like sun-kissed look today but i also have the shade terracotta which i think will be nice for more like summery sun-kissed skin um and i'm still loving the mac stack um mascara and i even put a little on my lower lashes which i don't do very much but since the eyeshadow was super kind of smoky, I thought it went with it. So I'm going to run out um, for a little bit and get some, I think I'm going to get Dunkin'. I've been craving it because I used to always get it every single weekend and I haven't lately. So I'm going to get that. I think it's lunchtime already. Yeah, it's after 12. Um, and I'm gonna run a few errands and then I'm picking my sister up to come over here uh, to help me build my bookcase that has been like kind of the last lingering thing that I have to build. So that'll be really nice to have her over here and just to spend some time with her. So I can't wait. I miss Duncan iced coffee. It's so good. And I had my breakfast sandwich and everything. And then I ran into Ulta to get my mom's pickup order that I got for her that I'm going to drop off and this is the Lancome Idol Aura perfume and I'm not going to open it because it's hers but I did spray it in the store and it's so pretty. It's like a more summery version of Lancome Idol and that's like a very beautiful like floral fragrance. So I have that to take to her. Then of course I couldn't help but do some damage myself and I bought a handful of um ColourPop products that I've been wanting to get. So I got the Off Melrose palette. This has just spoken to me every single time I've seen it and I just love it. I love the packaging and the color story is so so beautiful. It's like a really nice neutral palette but has that cool like olivey green. It has some more like I don't know just unique colors this Fairfax shade is like a duochrome so I'm excited to play around with that and Colourpop is just so good for the money and I really love like my high-end palettes but I like having like lower 
price options to tell you guys about because there's so many amazing ones. And then this, I can't believe it's taken me so long to get. It's the That's Taupe palette. And oh my God, this is just the perfect like cool tone eyeshadow palette. And it's a little messy, um, but it was only $14. So wow. I love that there is five mattes and four metallics. I think that makes it really like use user friendly and like, I don't know, just more different than a lot of my other palettes. And this like kind of grayish taupe shade. Ooh, this color is speaking my language. All of them are speaking my language. I think the that's taupe. I'm even more excited than the off Melrose, but I decided just to get both. And then this I've swatched every time I've went into Ulta and this blush is so pretty. It's the pressed powder blush in toffee cake. I always want to say coffee cake, but it's toffee cake. And then there's, um, what are those called? Pomegranates on it. So I'm like so confused. Like I don't get the name and that like image, but it's this really deep like brick red color. And when you swatch it, it is just the most beautiful like reddish flush. I just think that is gonna be gorgeous. Like this would be amazing on deep skin, but I think it will be really pretty like using a very light hand on my skin. And then the last thing I got is this um, Fresh Lips Glossy Lip Stain in Ice Pop. They had a bunch of colors and it was kind of hard to tell um, like which one I would get the most use out of, but I've heard really good things about this formula. And so I picked Ice Pop, which is like this rosy neutral and holy moly. Whoa. Is this like way brighter than I thought? That's definitely brighter than I thought, but I'm kind of glad because I have a lot of colors that are more neutral. Oh my goodness. Am I crazy or is this like neon pink? I like it, but I was not expecting that. Mm, that is so, so pretty. And I love makeup just for fun. Amanda, her channel is one of my favorites and I feel like I don't talk about her enough. She's super inspiring, has super informative videos like for comparing different palettes and that's what pushed me over the edge for the off Melrose. There was a palette that recently came out from ColourPop that I was intrigued by, but she did a swatch comparison and this palette was like basically the same so I decided just to get that one because it was at Ulta but she has really raved about this formula and I probably should have looked up her swatches before buying but wow that is such a pretty color it really like brightens up my face and <laughs> I wouldn't have necessarily bought it um knowing it was this color but i'm glad that i did because it pushed me out of my comfort zone so anyway can't wait to play around with all that some more and this blush is just like the happiest color i love it so much um and now i have a few things in my back seat that i'm returning at target and then i'm going over to my parents house to visit for a little bit and to bring rachel back to my place rachel and i just finished building second bookshelf and I still have more books to get from home and I need to reorganize the decor but some of the shelves I like how they look. This bookshelf is my books like my TBR and then this shelf will be like the books I've read which mostly are at home. So that has been successful. Rachel's here in my place and I'm gonna make her peanut butter toast our favorite that treat. So that's her payment <laughs> for today. And we're watching Spring Baking Championship and there was just a huge twist and look how upset this guy is. <laughs> so the good like pausing point. <laughs> Rachel and Moki are relaxing. Right Moki? <laughs> you love when we have visitors. <laughs> it's mostly skincare. Yeah. 
Oh! Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. What's I hit my butt on this because I was leaning down. <laughs> so Rachel just went through my like declutter bag and picked out some a lot of skincare, I would say, mm -hmm. from things that like. I just don't need as much as I have, so it's all good stuff. I'm so glad you picked out the Sailor Moon palette. So cute. I know. <laughs> and then lots of skincare from Lord Jones, Tata Harper, um, Good Molecules, Fresh, Pharmacy, First Aid Beauty. Very nice. You're gonna have like the best skin of your life. I, know, <laughs> and I have plenty. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> you just have to keep up with it. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> I brought back a suitcase full of books, and so I'm organizing them now. Basically, I want this bookshelf to be my TBR and all the things that I still have to read, and then this shelf are the books that I've read and wanted to keep. So, um, so far, all of those are organized like approximately how I want them and then these I really have to figure out because I have a lot in there and I still have more um so I'm working on that I'm watching my girl Georgie uh do her REM beauty chapter two video I absolutely love 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 Georgina and definitely go subscribe to her channel and follow her on Instagram so I'm watching her like tutorial and review um, what else? Oh, I put my salt lamp on my smart lights. So let me get my phone. Oh, where is my phone? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my phone is right here. Um, but basically on my Wiz, like, um, smart light bulbs, I also have the smart plugs. And so this, um, salt lamp has like a, a light bulb that isn't, able to be smart like I can't fit their smart bulb into it um, and I absolutely love my salt lamp I think it's so beautiful so what I did was I plugged in one of their smart plugs and so now I can turn it on and off with the rest of my smart lights which is so awesome and it's kind of like the plug is hidden back here so it would be hard to get to to like turn on and off um all the time so that was like so exciting all right so i actually switched it up i have my tbr on this left bookshelf and my red books on the right. Um, I just liked how it looked better to have this more full. <laughs> and I usually have more books that I need to read than books that I've kept because I usually let go of books that I have read um, and really only keep a select few. But I have this bottom shelf that I left pretty much empty. I just have those <laughs> vases there for now. Probably won't stay there for long, but um, this shelf is almost completely full of my book of the month books, and I get at least two per month. So if there's like a few more that I keep, I'll already need another shelf. And then these books are not book of the month books that I've kept. So that's almost full as well. So I feel like this will work for now and then as I get more books I'll need to rearrange but I really like how this all turned out. We made this amazing HelloFresh meal tonight. White Cheddar Wonder Burgers. What? With Old Bay fries, caramelized onions, and special sauce. It was delicious and very easy to make like on your own. And then the best part is that we got these Dunkaroo cookies sugar cookie dough with vanilla frosting with rainbow sprinkles and it came with two icing packets so we each will get one which is perfect and it makes six like cookies that's how like they came in with six balls and we are watching the last episodes of money heist so it's like it's really exciting but really sad i feel like so i can't wait to see what happens you guys, we finished watching Money Heist and I can't believe how it ended. I 
I feel like it did such justice to the show and there's like a documentary um like behind the scenes I think of just the last season and so we're gonna watch that tomorrow but I am so so glad Alyssa introduced me to this show and that we watch it together because it might be my favorite show that I've ever seen I don't know it's up there for sure top five easily um but it is just phenomenal if you're looking for a new show to watch on netflix check out money heist wow it is so good it is unbelievable um and yeah i don't want to say anything because i went into it not knowing anything and that's how i would suggest doing it for you guys too and i've made such amazing progress on this book um i have about i would say a third left and shit got wild about like halfway through there was such a huge like to me very unexpected turn and it just made it so like incredible and like so mind-blowing and so things are just like really picking up and I am really, really enjoying it. So if you read The Paris Apartment by the end of this month, be sure to stay tuned for my live book club stream um, at the end of March because we'll talk all about it. And I just think it's so fun to talk to you guys about all books, but especially like thrillers and ones that like you might have theories about what's going on throughout it. I love hearing what you guys thought and theorized so i definitely have my own thoughts but who knows so um that's about it though for this vlog and i hope you guys are doing really well and staying safe and healthy and i'll see you guys very soon bye